Welcome back, my dear cherubs. This is section 8.2, Special Right Triangles. We are going to be working with the special properties of 45, 45, 90 triangles and also 30, 60, 90 triangles. So the first one is 45, 45, 90 triangles, which are isosceles right triangles. So if we were to take this square, these sides are all congruent. If we were to draw a diagonal, right there, we would end up with a 90 degree angle, 45 degree angle, 45 degrees. And there are a bunch of properties that exist with that. So this is going to give us a an isosceles right triangle. So 45, 45, 90. So the 45, 45, 90 triangle theorem says in a 45 45 90 triangle both legs are congruent so we have them congruent we have a right angle here and the length of the hypotenuse is the square root times the length of a leg so how does this work so the hypotenuse will equal the square root of 2 times a leg and the leg will equal the hypotenuse divided by the square root of 2. So this is going, if this is x, this is also x, and then the hypotenuse would be x times the square root of 2. And that pattern applies to every single 45, 45, 90, or isosceles right triangle. So how does this work? If we look at this diagram, we see that we have a 45, 45, 90 triangle. So we can figure out what h is, simply by taking our leg and multiplying it by the square root of 2. So h would equal 9 times the square root of 2. Similarly, in b we have a 45, 45, 90, but we have a leg which is 2 times the square root of 2, and we are trying to figure out the hypotenuse. So to do that, we will take the leg, 2 times the square root of 2, and multiply that by the square root of 2. And when you multiply this, square root of 2 times the square root of 2, that is 2 times 2, so x is equal to 4. So what is the length of the hypotenuse of a 45, 45, 90 triangle with a leg length of 5 times the square root of 3? So this is 5 times the square root of 3. We are trying to find that. We would have x equal 5 times square root of 3 times the square root of 2. So, square root of 3 times the square root of 2 is square root of 6, and we still have that 5 out front, so x is 5 times the square root of 6. With this example, we're going to be going the other direction. We're going to figure out the value, the length of a leg. So, to find the length of a leg, remember a leg is the hypotenuse divided by the square root of 2. And to do that, we will take 6 and divide that by the square root of 2. Now, we have to rationalize. So here, if you guys remember, to rationalize a denominator, you multiply the numerator and the denominator by the radical that's in the denominator. So we are going to multiply the top and bottom by the square root of 2 and that will give us 6 times the square root of 2 and when you multiply a radical by itself that gives you just the radicand so this is 2 so 6 square root of 2 over 2 which can be simplified 6 divided by 2 is 3 this is 3 times the square root of 2 and we can do another one if we have triangle right triangle with a leg of 10 I'm sorry, the hypotenuse is 10. You would take x would equal 10 divided by the square root of 2. So we have to multiply that by the square root of 2 on the top and bottom. And that gives us 10 square root of 2 over 2, which is 5 times the square root of 2. It's finding distance. A courtyard is shaped like a square 
with 250 foot long sides. So all these are the same, this is 250. What is the distance from one corner of the courtyard to the opposite corner? So we are trying to figure out from here to here. Now because this is a square, this is 45, this is 45. So to take that, we are going to take the 250. We're trying to find this. X would equal 250 times the square root of 2. So X is 250 times the square root of 2 feet. Now we're moving into 30, 60, 90 triangles. Now, 30, 60, 90, if we have an equilateral triangle, we can break this down. So equilateral triangles were 60 degrees, so this is 60, but now because this is perpendicular here, this is going to be a 30 degree angle because we have an angle bisector. So this is going to be x, this is going to be 2x, because this would also be x. So if each side is 2x, then when we break out that bottom part, it's going to just be x. And that means we can figure out this piece here. 2x squared would equal, we'll call this y here, x squared plus y squared using the Pythagorean theorem. So that is 4x squared, which equals x squared plus y squared. And we can begin to solve this. We can take the square root. I'm sorry, we're going to subtract the x squared. 3x squared equals y squared. And when we take the square root of both sides, we find y equals x times the square root of 3. So this is actually x times the square root of 3. That is what that other leg will be. So the 30, 60, 90 triangle theorem says in a 30, 60, 90 triangle, the length of the hypotenuse is twice the length of the shorter leg. The length of the longer leg is the square root of 3 times the length of the short leg. So the hypotenuse will equal 2 times the short leg. The long leg is the short leg times the square root of 3. And using those, you can determine all the other segments. So if this is right angle, this is 60, this is 30, this would be x, this would be 2x, and this is x times the square root of 3. So remember, working off of this, just for a little example, this would be x, this is 2x, this would be x times the square root of 3 because this is 60 degrees and this would be 30. So that is how a 30, 60, 90 triangle works. So find the values of the variables in simplest radical form. So f is the hypotenuse. We currently have the long leg. So to get the short leg, we are going to divide that by the square root of 3. So d would equal 5 divided by the square root of 3. The problem with that is we now have to rationalize. So we multiply by the square root of 3. So 5 times the square root of 3 over 3 is what d would measure. Now that we have d, to find f, we are going to take 5 times the square root of 3 over 3 and multiply that by 2 because that is the rule. So that would give us 10 times the square root of 3 over 3 and that is what the measure of f is. So just to make sure everybody's clear, if we have the short leg is x, the long leg is x times the square root of 3, and the hypotenuse is 2x. 
So using those formulas, you can figure out any leg that's missing if you know one of them and it's a 30, 60, 90 triangle. So how do we work this? What is the area of, the, of an equilateral triangle with sides that are 12 centimeters long? So we have an equilateral triangle. That means each of these are 12. This would be 60. So remember, to find area, area is base times height divided by 2, or 1 half base times height. So because it is equilateral, this is going to be a right angle. This makes this 6. So the height is going to be 6 times the square root of 3. So to find the area, sorry, I didn't want to find the area, I just wanted to find the height. But you know, while we're here, let's find the area. So the it would be 12 times 6 times the square root of 3 divided by 2. So this would be 6. So this would be 36 times the square root of 2 centimeters squared. That is our area. And now we're going to find the missing side lengths. So we have a 45, 45, 90. This is a right angle up here. Sorry, I was getting ahead of myself. This is not a right angle, but because that is right and this is a triangle, we know that this is going to be 45 up here. Now, this would be 60 degrees for that triangle. So we can find because A and B are going to be equal to each other because this is an isosceles triangle. So we can find A or B by the square root of 2. So B would equal 12 square root of 2 divided by the square root of 2, which would equal 12. So this is 12, as is this. Now that we have the short leg, we can find the hypotenuse. So D would equal 2 times A, which is 2 times 12. So D would equal 24. And now... We can find C, basically using the same thing. C would equal A times the square root of 3. So C would equal 12 times the square root of 3. So here are all of our values. A is 12. B is 12. C is 12 times the square root of 3. And D equals 24. That's it. Take it easy. Let me know if you have any questions.